How do I begin this? I watched Minions 2, right? And I can say, with my full soul, it actually was pretty good. <laughs> yes, it is Feral Cabbage here. For those who know me, and hi, I'm Feral Cabbage. For those who are clicking on this video, um, so I just want to preface anything I say by saying I wasn't one of those people who came into the movie in like a suit or whatever and started throwing bananas at the screen because I think the people who actually did do that are dumb and stupid and ugly and stink and smell bad. So I'm not associated with them. However, I can unironically say that this movie was kind of hype because I even the kids behind me were hyping and I was like, you know what? I was hyping along with them. I, we cheered a few times. We were cackling at the jokes. It was great because uh, while this movie, while this movie isn't necessarily trying to be, you know, the next, you know, you know, the iconic movies out there, you know, it's not trying to be the next Disney Renaissance or even the next Lego movie or something like that. It's, it's very, it knows it's minions and it does a really good job at it. And honestly, that's the best part. That's really, I honestly really think that that's what makes this movie good is because it isn't trying to be, while it does have themes, and honestly those themes might conflict a bit with uh, Despicable Me a tiny bit, it's fun. I had a good time and that's what matters. If I had to pick apart this movie, I would probably say that like towards the middle there's this weird kung fu like montage, spoilers I guess, that wasn't really funny. And it kind of felt more like, it felt weirdly racist, not racist, but cultural appropriation, I guess, like a culturally, culturally appropriating. Is that the word for it? I don't know, but it, I don't know. It just felt weird. And it's, it was weird. It was, it was like such a weird plot point too, because the minions were getting their butt whooped the, you know, the core three, um, Bob, Kevin and Stuart, I think their names are, they were getting their butt whooped by the henchmen of some, not the villain, but like one of the characters. And, um, the spa lady comes out, whoops their asses with Kung Fu, and then walks back in, and then after some convincing, trains the minions in Kung Fu. And I'm like, what? <laughs> like, it just felt, it kind of killed the pacing, and honestly, for a minions movie, the pacing was spot on. So yeah, I guess I gotta do an outro for this one. Um, so, for a minions movie... It had a good amount of honestly there were some there are some jokes that were honestly actually really good i'm gonna be honest like some of them i actually laughed not because i was just shut my brain off have fun with minions but actual fun there's a few good jokes in there there's also just a few dumb jokes and a few jokes that your kids will love if you have kids so yeah that's what i can really say is that if you're looking for just some dumb fun this is your movie if you're if your kids are looking for actual fun if you have kids this is your movie and if you were, if you're one of those guys, again, I said this before, but if you're, if you're one of those guys who are showing up to, with a suit to the movie, that's fine. That's okay. You can wear whatever you want to a movie theater. You know, you could wear a suit or wear a dog collar. I'm fine either way. But if you're going to be ruining the movie for other people in the theater, you know, read the room. The reason why I was more excitable during the movie is because I knew what all the other kids around me were and that I wasn't ruining their experience because they were, they were having just as much as fun as I am. But read the room. And don't do anything stupid. Don't throw bananas at the TV screen and ruin the actual... Don't ruin the actual movie theater while doing it, you know? So if you're looking for some dumb fun or looking for some... So if you're looking for some dumb fun with a few actual good jokes in between, or if you are if you have kids and want to show them a fun little movie, or if you honestly just want to waste your money, you know, there are worse movies to pick other than Minions 2 Rise of Gru. I don't want to give it a number score, because that feels mean, but I'm going to give it a 7.5. Pretty good.